actually met Kirlian while I was traveling to Brazil. The first time that I met her, I was like, man, she's gorgeous. How do you feel right now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm happy. Looking at you, your overall, your height and your look, and you're beautiful. When a professional say to you, you can be a model. Ah, you look beautiful. I don't think, but it's, it's in, in nice. a modest dress, you know, nothing too short, nothing too raunchy, and and you know that's it's kind of the opposite of the modeling world. I'm absolutely blown away by how stunning Kirlian looks. But seeing a room full of people staring at her, most of them men, it's a little hard to stomach. It was just it was kind of weird for me, walking in and there was just a bunch of people, a bunch of a bunch of guys. Dude's looking at you. The reason why we're going through all this whole K-1 visa process is that we're in love. I met Noon on social media while researching things to do in Thailand, and she agreed to show me some places around Bangkok. After my first trip to Thailand and spending time with Noon, I knew from then on that we needed to be together always. Bajali Bunma, I'm from Thailand and I'm 25 years old. Bajali Bunma is hard to call, so we call me Nun. I only work three blocks away from here. So loud. Oh my God. What do you think? It scared me a little bit. Don't come here alone. Yeah, okay. I won't come here alone. When you, when you take me to meet your parents, my parents and I are not very close. I haven't seen my mom in like 10 years. Same with my dad, I haven't seen him in maybe five or six years now. If I marry him and if I don't know his parents, that is weird. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> you are so beautiful the love of my life, and she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm engaged to a wonderful man, Alexi, who's coming to America from Israel. Birthright is a free 10-day trip for Jewish people to go to Israel to tour the country, and I went a year and a half ago, and he was the medic on my trip. It again and again and again, was that makes it come up and then go but out. Feels, I feel bad, Alex. Okay. Whenever she brings it up so much, it makes me think and it makes me more upset too. I have you, I'm I want just you, only you. you. No strippers. Oh. Yeah! Our man steel, Logan, gonna get a little sexual. He just did something I asked her not to do, and yeah, it makes me feel like there is a trust issue about that. You know how much I love you and care about you. You're my best friend. I understand all the circumstances and everything, and that's why I'm, I didn't go away. Going on vacation, I never expected to meet the man of my dreams, but I did, and now we're gonna get married. When I seen Devar saying goodbye to his family, it was really tough. Leaving my family on that very last day, it was one of the hardest feelings. I told Devar I had a son the first time I met him, because I just think Devar needed to know that I had a son um, before he decided to get into a serious relationship with me. From what I've heard, a lot of people in Jamaica wanna come over here, and everyone wants to live the American dream. How does she know that you're not sleeping with women every other day? My mom doesn't really quite know much about the relationship that me and Melanie got, but uh, we do speak over the phone and I do tell her about it, and she's just a bit astonished about me dating a white girl. What was your thoughts when I told her I was married and now white lady? I can't pick for him. He big now to know what he need. <laughs> Right now, I'm just happy to go out here and see that beautiful lady, Melanie, walk right towards me. Today, two special people 
Devar and Melanie, have committed to enter their next phase of life together. You can't really describe it. It's just a connection that you have with somebody that Devar is the love of my life. I fall in love with her so deep, there's no way out.